It gnats yesterday and they're gonna fly today. Okay, it's hot as up the water out here. It's gonna tell you now. Y'all, we got people mowing grass and everything. Y'all, we on location. We were, she was in front of my house. I didn't even know it trying to set up. Yeah. But then somebody started mowing, our neighbor started mowing the grass, so that was just kind of too loud because she had to move and relocate. Can you sit up? Yeah, I'm, I'm laid back like I'm ready to go to bed, y'all. Let's just relax back here. I'm all laid back. Here's your cup and I'll sit okay. up. Now I got to have two hands doing everything. Oh, oh my gosh. But as yeah, I went and sat up in front of Tina's in between some trees. And we have a you know a pretty good backdrop. Because I was going to go over there so she wouldn't have to come over to my house. And I was just going to pick her up. You know, we just going to do this there. We're just going to do that on the golf cart. That way she wouldn't have to come over to the house. We got everything set up. You know, y'all, it takes a little while to get things set up. And lo and behold, time I got back to the house, they already over there cutting that grass. You got chocolate right there. Oh, don't tell me I got Good morning, y'all. It's Friday Coffee Chat. Good morning. Welcome back. You said we weren't going to be able to do a coffee chat today. Well, we couldn't help ourselves. Um, but y'all, I got up this morning and I said, I think I texted seen at 6.30, y'all. I was sleeping And like I know she was asleep. I texted her at 6.30, I texted her and I messaged her on Facebook. I didn't hear nothing. I said, you won't just come over and we'll just do a little short coffee chat, you know? Cause I'm like, we, we got in this routine now yeah. and it's like, you know, it don't feel right not to do it. And so, anyway, she texted me back about eight o'clock, a little <laughs> after eight, she said, okay, I can be there at nine. I said, all right. So I started getting things ready. So anywho, we thought we'd just come on here for just a little time. Yep. Uh, Tina, she is going to go to work today, but she's going to go in the afternoon. I didn't get much sleep last night, mm -hmm. y'all, so I've got to, I'm going to, you know, when I leave here, I'm going to go back home and get a little snooze in, yeah. and then I'm going to go be at work at one. First of all, let's talk about our coffee cups. I know you can't really oh, yeah. see them. The sun's taking the away sun, the beauty yeah. of it. Anyway, probably not focusing. These come from Sherry and Lynn from Houston, Texas, y'all. And they are so cute. And we'll I read them again. It. Mine says, embrace the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. And it has some flowers. And then on the back, we have some more flowers. And the color is, we'll break my cup. Little flowers. And I have teal on the inside. She put, gave her one with teal. And I am drinking lemonade. Mm -hmm. Well, mine says she is clothed with strength and dignity. And sh she laughs without fear of the future. And mine is like that. And it has a bird on top. And then in the back, it has a little bird. Aren't they cute, And girl? mine's blue. You know, that shows us she knows what we like. Her yes. color and the I love birds. Honestly, I really believe that they have been following us from the get-go. I, th I think they have. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so you know what I like? When we opened these up, we asked if we wasn't, we were pretty much sure who sent these to 99 us. 99% sure. There you go. Little team doing some math over mm -hmm. here. But then, you know, we had a little room 1%, we weren't quite sure. So, it was from them, y'all. <laughs> we were right. Actually, today is Friday, y'all. You know, normally we, we film on Thursday so we can have it ready for Friday. But, y'all, we're really, we're doing this for real. I mean, this is like the real deal, team. Yes, it's this probably is like, on in the late evening night it'll instead be of this on this morning. evening because, yeah. you know, it takes forever to upload. About four hours or so. Yeah. So, <laughs> so here we are. We decided to ride down here on the golf cart to get out because yeah. it's not that it's hot, but we're in the shade. Yeah. They have another de scenery, and we're down here. What we call the scenery. Mm -hmm. scenery, scenery, trees. Yeah. Uh, Clarabelle's over here, mm -hmm. and Toby's over here. Right. So then we were down here where we yeah. call the ranch, and we're just um, hanging was, out. It was just so hot, and the sun everywhere I tried to get, either the sun was like too bright, or either it everything just shaded our face so i hope mm -hmm. this works anywho uh want to thank everybody for praying for tina's husband David. Uh, yes i do thank you so much y'all and we just ask that you would continue to keep him in your prayers he's had this problem for a while but he had a good long running spell of being yeah. doing well, good with it and I, he and he said he bragged on it too much because he's been saying all last week you know i've been doing really good i've been able to he loves to cook which i love that <laughs> Um, and he said, so, and he, he loves to cook. He does, and he has cooked several meals the last couple of weeks, and I've enjoyed it. Um, but you have. Wednesday, Matt. he cooked steak and gravy, mashed. I can't even remember what he cooked, but he had steak and gravy and some corn. I do know, and macaroni cheese, and he even fried oh a couple of hot dogs for Tessa. Mm. Um, 
And we had something else go over there. I'm about to say mashed potatoes biscuits. and Christmas. But mashed potatoes <laughs> and Christmas. Lord <laughs> mercy, y'all. Where did Christmas come from? Don't want mashed Christmas potatoes right and gravy. That don't even go right. Um, what did you ask me? You have your homemade biscuit? Do you... <laughs> we had a can biscuit. The big Ain't grand can biscuits. I like them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so my son dropped by Anthony and Tessa. And he got off of work and they come because he loves David's hamburger steak and gravies. And what's so funny, David makes his like, he, I make hamburger steaks, they're like long hamburger steaks like yeah. you see in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. He makes them, he takes them in and just a real little like that. He oh, has a okay. bunch of, a whole frying pan full of the little, little ones. ones like that. But they're still good, you know. Same thing. And uh, But by the time I got home from work that day, no, I didn't work. I had been set with Brooklyn. When I got home, he was bent over, you know, mm -hmm. where he couldn't stand up. She was in pain. He said, I started not to cook, but I knew I invited him. I said, all you would have done was tip, call Anthony and say, I'm not able. And he would have understood that, of course. Mm -hmm. And though I bragged on myself, that's the whole point I'm trying to get to. I bragged on myself getting along so good that now he said I've cursed myself <laughs> so he won't be cooking for a little while I'm pretty sure and yesterday evening he got where he could walk a little straighter um I don't know if I've even told you he has stage three kidney failure is what it is um and he has they told him the best thing for that to help the pain is to drink six 16 ounce bottles of water every every day and he drinks a cup of coffee in the morning they said he needs to drink a, a whole bottle a bottle of water to take the place of that to flush that out that coffee so he can't have no more diet drinks y'all or no tea or anything like that it's all water uh, he's at home now he um he didn't sleep that well last night because his pain started coming back more i think uh but i'm hoping as the days go on the more water he gets in that'll help and keep him from hurting that's what it's for so y'all if you will uh keep him in your prayers and yeah. and i'm off all yeah. next week so i can be home you know yeah. with him if he needs me all next week and maybe by then he'll be back a little better end. yeah what y'all think about her vlogging oh she's yeah got, that's another thing y'all got How two vlogs up there yeah she's been doing good y'all so, I, I make a, I make a little bit of mistakes, I, you know, about things, and I try my best to watch my background and the noise and all that. But sometimes I get carried away and I don't realize it. Um, but I think I'm doing better. And but when Annette gets hold of it to edit a couple of things that needs to be edited out, it ends up coming together pretty good. I think you might see yeah. half my chin or half my head, top of my head, or something like that, because I'm trying to do well, a move, that, but I mean, it's all it's, right. It's life, it's real it's life, It's just me being I mean, me. That's just us. And yeah, she's doing good. Um, so normally on Friday coffee chats, you know, we kind of tell what we did the weekend. Well, yeah. Tina's, Tina's got two vlogs up telling about her weekend. Yeah. So I, know I, you, I know you didn't say, I don't remember what I, I did. I'm just trying to say, I don't know what <laughs> watch, I did. Watch your videos. Yeah. <laughs> on Saturday, Earl and I left early <laughs> that took forever to get that out but we left early <laughs> and we went to Fayetteville mm -hmm. Fayetteville <laughs> and we went to Dick Sporting Goods again we went to uh, another uh, play it again sports looking some golf clubs y'all still practicing still practicing well finally we st we got there at Dick's I think at like 10 we left there like at 1 and went and got um, something to eat at Olive Garden. Then we come back and then we practice some more swinging and stuff like that. You know what time we left from there? 4.30. Oh. But I left with some golf clubs, y'all. <laughs> she did, I saw them, they're nice. Yeah, I got really some golf nice. clubs and a bag and some balls and a glove. And so yeah, I am so excited. And if you're interested, I could do, uh, we can do a video and show you what's in my golf bag yeah show you what i got i got a set too but they didn't have any in the store so we had to order those well they came on tuesday to the house and when the ups man dropped it off i went and picked it up and you could just hear them just clanging and hitting and banging each Ooh. other there was nothing separating them keeping them separate so open it up when he gets home and they're just, y'all, they're just throwing this triangle box, laying on top of each other. So we take them out. They're, as much as they call. Yes. They're scratched up. Honestly, they look like somebody's been played around, around to a golf with them. And oh my gosh. I know he took them back. That upset us. So he called and told them what was going on. And he left. 
and they closed at 9 30 so he left here i think like at 7 30 and he got there and he showed them or whatever and so they gave us a gift certificate for our truck for his trouble taking it back and everything happening and they said they've never seen anything like this happen before this was unacceptable and so they gave they didn't have those kinds they didn't have that brand. they didn't have that kind the same brand they didn't have that kind in the store so they gave him the next level up which well, was nice. which was more but gave it to him for the price we already paid. Well, that's that so one. that he was, was really happy nice. with that. Yeah, because that's not gonna... a gift certificate. How much was gift certificate? Gift certificate was for, the gift certificate was twenty five dollars. But um, so he turned around and got me a, a glove for my left hand, and he picked out teal and white. Oh, well, well that's that sweet. sweet. Teal and white, y'all. And then he got me another set of golf balls. So well, I've got two sets of golf balls. Are they? The ones have pink. Okay. The well, the one he just bought me a hot pink. Okay. And see, when we were there that day, I picked me out some because I wanted some lady golf balls. And there is a difference, y'all. There is a difference. Don't let anybody like Earl, like, he tried to tell me they want a difference. But there is a difference. And because we asked the, the professional, and they said yes. And he explained to us the difference. Well, I don't know. They're shaped like a ball. Or they look colors. the same thing. It's what's made on the inside, how okay. they're made on the inside. Probably how, not as heavy for, for women. For a lady's golf ball, I don't really know everything. The specifics of it, but a ladies' golf ball is a lot much, is a lot Lighter. more softer okay. than a uh, man's regular uh, golf ball. So when we were there, I picked out. Of course, you know me. I'm gonna pick out the most expensive thing, but not realizing it was the most expensive now. It's what she likes. The expensive. It she was, has it, what you say here. People say they ha <laughs> she has expensive taste. I do, but you know, most time I go for things on sale, and you know what? Yeah, do. she does. Her taste is as always ends up being the expensive, but she don't mean for it to be. It's that <laughs> what it's like. It's just it's just what she likes. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Okay, well I'll tell you this. I got a set of Callaway golf clubs, golf bag. Earl got me the cat got me the golf club got me the golf glove. So of course I want the Callaway balls. I mean mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you want the I same wanted name. match. So the balls were on the end cap and every ball that was on there was for the ladies and they all said 1999. Then you got down to the bottom, there was some on clearance for twenty one ninety nine. Well I picked out one that they're white. Honestly they look like a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. You know, the designs on them. But where on a soccer ball, like where the black color is, they're pink. pink. And then the rest of the ball is white. And therefore, visibility and accuracy and all this stuff. And what it is, is when you put the ball down, the ball looks and seems to be bigger to the eye than a regular golf ball because of the, because of the pattern on the ball. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, y'all want some of these. And I, I said, I need all the help I can get. Well, we thought they were 1999, right? We get up there to ring it up, and it rings up $42 Ooh, or something like they that. They didn't change that sign. And Earl said, what? Of course, we had one of those uh, cash, cashier guys that was like kind of rude. But we said, well, they're the sign. All the signs on there are $19.99. Oh, uh, well, you know. So he called the manager up there, and it's one that we have talked to in the back. And he said he ready for somebody to come up there to bring them a uh, another thing, a golf ball and ring it up, and, and he rung it up for us for $19.99. That was nice. That ball. was very nice. I bet it made the other guy like, ooh, that's mm -hmm. special. Yeah, but he was rude, y'all. We ever got one of them that was just rude? Oh, you get them all the time. I do, anyway. I know. You get them all the time. Girl's supposed to be taking me to a, a driving range. I'm hoping to go this weekend. I don't know yet. And try to hit them. Oh, I didn't want to say this, y'all. I meant to say this on the other, on the last week's uh, cop chat. But I went to Walmart, okay? I was walking in through the garden center, the part that's covered, that's inside the store. You know, when they have the chairs and the cushions and the pillows Ooh, for the plants. outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what I was talking about, yeah. yeah. You know, like garden stuff, but yeah. it's not on the outside, outside. Well, they had pillows, you know, and cushions all up here on the wall. I mean, I was like from here, arm length, arm length away from these pillows, because I'm looking at them. And I kept on moving and looking, and all of a sudden, y'all, this thing staring back at me, and it was a possum. <laughs> a possum, y'all, was you staring back that. at me. I was so, oh my gosh. It could jump down he, Yeah. We were that close. I wish we'd video, you'd video that. I don't think I've told this story. I've told it to so many people. I don't think I've told, I don't think I've told it on video, but and i looked at that and i backed up real slow because he, he was walking up to me like he was uh -huh. trying to be friendly i guess i don't know so i started backing up <laughs> and i backed up to this i backed up into this woman 
And I knocked her pocketbook off her Bless shoulder. Her, her pocketbook fell. Went what off, she said? Went off, went off her shoulder, went into the crease of her elbow. I said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I just kept getting it. And I kept looking around, turn around, look and look. And then when I got to the car, I said, I really should have told that lady. Because they started going to look at it. I said, I really should have told them there's a possum there. I couldn't tell nobody uh, anything. Cause I was so got away with it. And it freaked me out. You should have pulled your camera out and videoed that. No, I didn't have it. It was in the car. Oh, shoot. Always take your <laughs> camera with you, your phone. <laughs> well, I got one more thing to say, and then I'm going to hush. Um, you know, Tina was talking about in her video about her being a senior citizen now. Uh -huh. You're senior team. Uh -huh. <laughs> you really gonna be a senior come August. <laughs> she'll, be sure she'll be 60, y'all. And anywho, I was thinking about this story and I probably told it here, I don't remember, you know, I can't remember what to tell. But I was in Belts one day. This was years ago. This was years ago now, y'all. Okay, I, I mean I'm what how old am I? I'm forty six. I'm 46, Tina. Oh, that, yeah. You are 46? I'm 46. The step is 36? Yeah, I'm 46. Well, I went, I went in there to buy some shoes. I bought me some shoes, and I went there to pay for them. And evidently, it must have been Senior Citizens Day. <laughs> Get a discount. Now, this has been years ago. I said this has been at least five years ago. So, I'm... You'd have been, um... I've been like 41, 42-ish, mm -hmm. something like that. She asked me, she said, you're a senior? Are you a senior citizen? Y'all, she might as well just spit in my face, because that's the look <laughs> I gave her. I said, what? I did, y'all got away with me. I said, do I look like I'm a senior citizen? <laughs> was like, she young? No, she was like maybe 50, in her 50s. I'm going to say your age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that a lot, y'all. Um, <laughs> That's all right. Get but yeah, it. and I was like, I was just so got away with it. And I'm like, really? And y'all, that just ruined my whole day. Yeah, I forget it. I can go on it and be senior, senior, senior citizens, seniors, senior citizens day to be this You didn't learn how to say that. I know. And and I don't think a thing about it. Don't even try to take advantage of it. And well, I would. The, I don't even really think about it. At the thrift stores on Wednesdays, it's senior day. I forget it. And they have to appear, ask me. And if they don't ask me, I don't even get it. Like, I don't think about it. So, yeah, I, let, I, want, I want all the senior discount I can get. Roses has got a senior discount. What, what day is that? Wednesday? I need to take advantage of all these senior discounts. Remember. Maybe Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. I don't remember. It's one of them days. I'm not sitting here under the shade, to be honest with it you. It is. It's not. It's not hot. Humidity's not high really right now. But I mean, it is you get out there. It is it's when you get in the hot. sun, but right now We're out in a coat here, orange. Cool. As I said that already. We're no. in a coat orange today. Yeah, we are in a coat orange. I mean, but it's hot. not. Yeah, it's pretty out here. I know we live out here, but it is pretty out here. It's country. So we'll go ahead and end this coffee chat here so Tina can go home and get a little bit of rest before she has to go in to work at one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we won't, we're going to start this new thing on Fridays, I think. Uh, I don't know how long it'll last, but just because you know we don't have many subscriptions we have you might right. run out so we're going to start doing a shout out on our coffee chats of a youtube channel that we enjoy mm -hmm. so this person here this person is subscribed to our channel and she watches our videos and she comments on everyone that she watches she does i have just started watching her videos and i have enjoyed them and I think she is the cutest thing and, and the I just, sweetest thing. I just started and watching. I, well, I have been watching, but I binge. The other day I sat at home one night and I just binge watched hers and watched, I bet you, I don't know how many mm -hmm. all at one time. We watched one or two last night with Mama. Mm -hmm. so we want to shout out Nona Grace. Oh, so she's just like this. She's just... She is from New York. Uh, I'm not quite can't remember what part western new york or something like that i can't remember yeah y'all check her out she is <laughs> I, I love watching her videos she is so sweet and oh, she yeah, rides a motorcycle she does y'all she is bad to the bone <laughs> <laughs> y'all check her out all right well, we're gonna go ahead and end our coffee chat so we can go ahead i can go ahead and get this edited and hopefully get it up hey thank you again for our new cups for this coffee chat. Yeah. Thank you, Sherry and Lynn. We Thank love you. them so very much. Thank you so much. Y'all are so sweet and thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna leave you with our one last thought. Every day is a fresh start. June 28th. Mm -hmm. All right, go out and make it a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Love y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye.